This is not the heaviest burden in this race. National Guard servicemen chose the lightest one among their ranks since they will have to carry him in a 100 meters run. This log is 6 meters long and weighs 300 kilograms. Just picking it up takes a lot of strength. This military relay race requires participants to carry six different loads. The total distance is slightly over a kilometer. It took seven minutes and 50 seconds for the fastest team to finish the race. This tire weighs 180 kilos and a soldier has to flip it for 10 meters to reach the finish line. The team chooses the lucky soldier whose task will be flipping this tire. All of us gave it a try. We saw who does it best and that's how we decided. In the end, National Guard soldiers push a Ural truck. This military-grade truck weighs over seven tons. Each meter is a struggle. It is very painful. You are out of breath. Your feet are unresponsive. You get through the pain to the finish line while your commander is yelling at you. This year's CrossFit tournament was very hot. National Guard servicemen competed in plus 30 degrees Celsius weather while wearing complete uniforms, together with armor vests and assault rifles. Heat and uniforms are excuses from those whose spirit is weak. Those whose character is strong will work when it rains or snow, because there are never ideal conditions. Conditions are the same for everyone here. Drill instructors try to create situations that are as close to real combat conditions as possible to prepare soldiers for anything that might be thrown at them. For example, pushing a car, there might be a technical malfunction and the crew has to push the track for 100 meters or longer. All exercises are performed in full uniform with an assault rifle, just like it is done in the Joint Forces Operation Zone. After five years, it has become more than just a tournament, since CrossFit is being actively used to train soldiers. We have combined and chosen strength exercises, stamina exercises and special protocol exercises so that soldiers would receive all-round training. This really helps their general preparedness. This year, 130 servicemen took part in the tournament with the top participants awarded prizes. Reported by Yulia Boshko, UATV.